What is up everyone? I'm back from a little small anti-burnout break. And today we're going to do a little session back into the Hollywood uh, repository, back into the Hollywood project because there were some little issues with the GGQ implementation. I completely replaced that with a new ring buffer implementation without sacrificing too much of um, performance, which is muy bien. So what we're going to do today, we're going to do a little session. I'm going to make more videos, uh, these kind of session videos where I'm trying to do some um, real open source work so you guys can see how working with Golang actually is and how you need to think, how you need to design APIs, how real programming actually works instead of these uh, tutorial code, which is also fine, but sometimes you need to have something real, right? That That's true. You need to have, uh, you need to level up, right? So for the people that uh, are not yet subscribed, hey, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. And now I'm going to remove my glasses because I am Clark Kent. And uh, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave some questions in the comments. Jump into my Discord community. Uh, all links are down in the description. For the people that want to learn a lot about Golang, I have two amazing things. I have my Patreon page uh, for the more experienced Golang developers um, or intermediate, I would say. And then I have, of course, the full-time Godev program. Is if you're, uh, It's a complete course from A to Z. Check that out. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, I think we already crossed two, 300 people, uh, students in there. So that's nice, right? All right, cool. It's just also summer, summer sale, 50% uh, off. Let's, let's, let's get started. So what we're going to do today basically is um, check well which branch we are. We should be in the poison branch. Yes, we are. So uh, for the people that don't know what an actor model is, you need to look that up, right? There are all, I have already some videos about that. Uh, we're not going to cover this, but we're going to do something cool. So let me open up my examples. Hello world, actually, to be honest, this one, right? Um... Yeah. Hello world. <coughs> so how does an actor actually actually works? Well, you have uh, you define a struct, you attach some methods to it. So it implements the receiver producer interface, and then you can receive based on uh, the messages it's going to get. And you don't, it's basically uh, operates in its own process and it's cool. It's amazing. It's it, it, it will save you from headaches if you do a lot of distributed programming. All right, so the thing is, you also need to have a possibility to stop your actors. And in the actor world, they call parlance, the actor parlance, they call it poison. And poison is basically going to send a poison pill, which is a message. You're going to send that to your actor. And it's going to continuously continue to process its messages, its inbox. And the first time it sees a poison pill message, it's basically going to stop. That's what it is. So it's basically an asynchronous way to uh, first let all the pending messages being processed and the first, then your poison pill comes and then it's going to stop. But the problem is that um, you're going to see, we, we have two messages here started and stopped, which are basically standard messages your actor are going to receive uh, by the system itself. Each time it's going to get started, you're going to get that message and each time it receives a poison pill or something else that uh, will stop your actor. You're going to receive this stop message all the time. The problem is if we do a go run um, examples, hello world main go here, you're going to see that we, we have, we received the actor started message, but we don't receive the stopped. Why? Well, even though we poisoned, but that's because it's an asynchronous way, right? It's, it's, it's all in the async world, right? So, the time it's going to receive this poison pill, you're already exit here from the main loop, right? So that's no problem. I, I, I have a good API for that. So we're going to say sync. You could make a sync weight group here, right? Just like that. You could put that weight group inside of here. And I think it needs to be a pointero. And then you could do a VG weight here, right? So let's do this again. Boom. And now you're going to see uh, it's going to process all these messages here. And then you're going to receive the stop message and then shut down and all that stuff. Muy bien, but these are three lines of code. Is there no better way to do that? Because I'm using, I'm going to rewrite my uh, cryptocurrency uh, exchange broker and all that stuff into uh, Hollywood because right now it's very stable. Uh, and I think, hey, Poison is, is something I'm using all the time, but I don't like this API. I'm going to make it a little bit better. So what we're going to do is, what I want is that basically... 
uh, if we don't want to manually control this weight group, right? We just do it like this, perfectly fine. Uh, but I want this function to return a weight group. So we can actually do VG weight here, right? So you can wait for the poison to end. Sometimes you want to wait until it's completely poisoned. Sometimes you just want to poison your actor and it's fine. It will it will stop whenever it needs to stop, right? Whenever it sees this poison pill, it's going to stop. But sometimes you want to wait until it's actually stopped before doing some other logic. So that's this. Um, so we need to do some changes here to actually make that work. So we're going to jump into the poison thing. And this, you see, this is a little bit of... Uh, if you see this, you're going to say, ooh, what is that? Yeah, I know. It's a little bit of um, underscores and everything, and that's completely against the rules. But yeah, sometimes uh, what you're going to do, this is VG, and we also need an internal VG. What, yeah, what you're going to do? You're going to make it VG internal or something. Perfectly fine. I'm using an underscore. If you don't like it, close your eyes. So uh, this is basically this Eleptis or whatever you're going to call this in Golang. Don't shoot me if I make some wrong parlance. I'm just a simple Dutch guy, and I don't know uh, a lot. So this is basically... Uh, a way to because Golang has no optional parameters we use something like this so we can leave this thing out and it's gonna work or we're gonna put it in and then we need to check if the first argument is not nil or something I know it's not the best but we have no options because Golang doesn't support optional parameters and a lot of people are using this kind of way to construct some some kind of similar behavior yeah with all unreadability that causes this. But hey, it is what it is sometimes, right? Like I said, we can close our eyes whenever we want. This is basically uh, 18 plus. So what I think we're gonna do, for it's very simple, right? So we, we, we make this null pointer here, right? And then we're gonna check, yo, if there is a weight group provided by the user, we're going to attach, we're going to assign this uh, pointer to this null pointer, which is not null pointer anymore. And then we're gonna basically put that into the poison pill. We're gonna follow this thing actually, uh, process here, All right? We're gonna clean this up. And then we're gonna check probably here. You see, this is the thing. If the weight group is not null, we're gonna add one to the weight group. And then we are going to do some stuff, shut it down, clean everything up, process the messages, and then we're gonna publish to the event stream so everybody, every actor in your system knows that some actor is going to stop. And then we're gonna call them. And we are completely exited. We are completely poisoned. We are, the actor is gracefully shut down, right? So what I think we're gonna do is uh, to make this actually backwards compatible. Um, where the hell are we, age? Poison. Here, no. Engine actually here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the thing. All right. So what we're gonna do is we are going to basically return here. I think a pointer to a sync weight group. Um, weight group here like that. We're gonna return. Why do we return a pointer? Because otherwise we need to copy this weight group. And you cannot copy if Golang says if Golang the internal library flags with a no copy. You cannot copy it or we need to do some nasty stuff. So I'm just gonna return a pointer. It's fine. It's completely fine. The user will not have any side effects by that. So we, if the, if the user provides, right, this is basically if the user provides a weight group, we're gonna use that. But if the user doesn't provide us a weight group, we are going to assign a sync weight group ourselves so we can return this weight group right here right because if we don't assign a new weight group to this nil point it's a nil point right this is basically it's going to be nil right uh, but not anymore because uh, if there is no user provided weight group given we're going to assign a new one so the thing is that this add function will in this case, right now, with the refactor, this add function will need to be called every time. Nonetheless, if the user provides or not, because we, the this is never going to be null. So we need to move this here, right? Uh, it's very simple, right? So we're going to check if there is a weight group provided by the user, use that. If not, use our own, add one, and everything should work, I think. Uh, let me see. So we're going back to this main example here, which I'm going to use as a victim for my test. 
Uh, yeah, let me see. Right, so we're gonna do this hello world run. Boom, you see it's working, right? So we wait until the actor is stopped. If we don't wanna wait, we just do not then here and then run again. You see, and now we it's it's doing stuff, but the main exited already. The main function exited already. So uh, it's already GG. Um, that's perfectly fine. Actually, that's that's amazing, to be honest. Uh, do we need to do something else here? We could actually leave that into the into this thing, so people know how to use that. So we're gonna say that Ouija is this, and then Ouija wait is gonna be fine. Ouija wait. So now the people that are using this 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 thing, they're gonna see all these messages and the actor stop message. So it's gonna make a lot of sense for them. So that's perfectly fine. The question about it is, do we have examples where we maybe? What is this? MDMS. Crazy. Probably a contributor or something. Restarts. We have this VG, right? You see? But this is another VG. It's fine. What's this TTT? This is my testing thing. I'm going to delete that. Yeah, I think it's fine, to be honest. Uh, we did what we needed to do. So it's a very simple session here because, uh, but hey, you can learn something about it, right? It's basically this Ouija weight uh, and weight groups. It's a very, I, I think it's amazing that it's provided by Golang. So um, you should use them. Actually, you should abuse them because it's an amazing concept and there is a lot of possibilities a lot of uh, patterns you can do with them right you can you can you can use them for a lot of stuff right so basically as i said 12 minute video uh, should be good right not too long not too short if you like this video if you like these sessions hey please comment down below if i need to keep making them or otherwise i just don't make them right uh it doesn't really matter i'm just trying to figure out what you on the other side of this beautiful sony camera wants to see i'm looking forward to see you in the next video stay strong stay safe I love you.